Man, it's, it's hard to adjust in the life in this city, man. I first moved here six years ago to start doing stand-up. My first week downtown Toronto, I held the door open for this girl as I was going in the store. And it, me being new to Toronto, I figured this girl would say something ridiculous to me, like, oh, I don't know, like, thank you. <laughs> 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 but she didn't. She goes, she goes, oh, you gonna hold the door for me? Or what do you want me to do now? Blow you? <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was an option right on. I got mad. I'm like, yeah, yes, dear, that's my game. Yeah. yeah, that's how I pick up. Yeah, I go around the city of Toronto doing polite deeds in return for sexual favors. Yeah, well, what's that? You need help crossing the street, old lady? <laughs> Don't jump ahead of me now. Ah, 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 first things first, Gladys. <laughs> it's time for a teabagging. <laughs> Buckle up, kids. That's the road we're going down tonight. A lot of misconceptions about Toronto. Here's another one. Whoever says Toronto is a city full of beautiful people, those people clearly have never visited my fucking apartment building. <laughs> oh my God, man. It's like living in the book where the wild things are. <laughs> it is because every day I just come home to see a different monster roaming the halls. I saw one woman last month in my apartment building, I swear to God, <laughs> pushing a kid in a stroller. And this woman was so ugly. <laughs> The only thought that came to my head was, Christ, she has to just be babysitting. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's the only explanation I could come up with. Because in my mind, there's no guy on earth could have looked at this woman and then thought to himself, that's the one I'm going to breed with. Yeah. <laughs> 